Hey, hey, good morning, and how's it going, all you garage gurus? Here's Quasar here. Welcome back to my garage here. Um, last episode, we did some work to the Firebird, and I showed you the Chevelle out back. Um, between episodes, I've done a lot of stuff. Um, and I'll take you down to the junkyard show you what I've done down there. However, today, this morning, it's almost 7 o'clock in the morning, um, we are going to be working on our Firebird here. I was able to squeeze in this beautiful engine. Um, I had some problems with it initially. I was so stupid. Um, I didn't bolt down the battery cables, so the hood wouldn't close. So I was like, oh, why is the hood not closing? So I kept messing around with it. I thought because this was sitting just a little too high, thought maybe this was preventing it, but nope. Um, I changed it out with, uh, even changed it out with this intake right here. <laughs> I this intake sits a little bit lower, um, but nope, same problems. And then I realized, oh, crap, I didn't, I didn't bolt down the battery cables. So remember that if your hood doesn't close, remember to bolt down your battery cables. <laughs> That's my advice to you. Uh, we have everything pretty much done here uh, with the engine compartment, um, I believe. Now I think it's just nothing more than trim. So this is where we're going to go. We're going to spend some cash. I was hoping, uh, yeah, I was hoping to have a little bit more cash on hand before I started this project, but um, it's fine. It's okay. Um, got the nose, nose emblem. That's a Firebird emblem. Uh, okay, so we'll get that. We're just going to have to get a uh, grill right, grill left. Um, Got to make sure I get the right one. Uh, second gen, second gen, second gen weather stripping. I think this is it. Uh, nose on the 75. That's the nose. Not really the bumper. Uh, tail panel. Uh, headlight left, headlight right. Grill I've got out there. Uh, front bumper, Firebird emblem. Uh, bumper guards I got, tail lights I need, hood, hood, hood I got, uh, front bumper. That's the nose, so I'm hoping front bumper here is this one right here. Oh, fingers crossed. Yes! Okay, all right. All right, so we have that. Let me pick up some of these pieces here. Yes, I did want that. The other one is the Pontiac emblem. Now, yeah, I could either put the Pontiac emblem on it, or the uh, Firebird emblem on it. And by golly, I'm putting a Firebird emblem on it. Um, so we're going to drop all this stuff right here. So where's the Firebird emblem? Firebird emblem is going to go right. Uh, come on. Come on, do it for me. Right there. And the car is painted white. Let me get this flashlight off. The car is painted white, so it's a little hard. Or I could have put the uh, Pontiac emblem on it. No, I could have put that on there. But I, I think, I think for the most part, I think I like the Firebird emblem, so I'm gonna leave the Firebird emblem on it. I'm gonna leave the Pontiac emblem back here. Uh, this goes uh, window trim should go somewhere in there. It did go in there somewhere. Uh, this goes on the front. This goes onto the back. Yeah, uh, I don't think any of these actually. Uh, I think this goes on this side. Yep. This is the mirror and everything. This is kind of cool. Because it even shows the mirror inside there. That is like absolutely really cool. Uh, Nick did an awesome job on this. I'm just so, so uh, just beside myself that he's not with the community anymore. Uh, Fiber grill. Stick that in there. Done. And what are you? Headlight. Okay, and you go there. So that solves that. I did have some trim. I need some left, no, right trim. Uh, I think it's going to be. Uh, where is it? The trim, chrome door, door. Got that. Uh, second generation weather stripping. I think I got that, right? Second gen nose, 
No, that's right. I think. I think. I think it might be good, but I don't know. Um, I think that weather's. Where is the weather sticking at? You know, last time I bought something, it ended up across the street. I don't know why, but it ended up across the street. Caused a bunch of confusion over there. Um, where did it go? There it is. Okay. I can barely see it. Weather stripping. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so this says second generation weather stripping. Maybe it goes in over here, maybe the other side. Uh, can't really tell, I don't think. Maybe I'm completely, where'd it go? Oh, there it is. It, yeah, this stuff is, um, set it out here disappears it just says second generation weather stripping so i'm not sure uh i'm not sure if i need it or not so i got that chrome trim black trim there black trim in there chrome trim i think i might be good i think it might be good all right um, if you guys see something I missed, I'm sure, uh, I'm probably sure I did. So, yeah, let me know, would you? And I'll take care of it. Uh, for now, this doesn't seem like it's going anywhere, so I'm just going to throw it away. Yeah, I spent money for nothing on that. Uh, if I do this, uh, clean slate overall condition just says three stars. So, I have no idea if it's actually, um, it's going to be F, 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 F. So that changed color exactly what it is. Um, I don't have a fuel tank in it, so that's a problem. Uh, I think we need to go to the BART fuel tank, I guess. I don't think we have a designated fuel tank for this. I have to go with the BART fuel tank. Uh, I think it might be under accessories. Now the 250, I could put the 250 in it, but I don't think, I think it sticks up, it sticks to the roof. Um, let's go. Find the fuel tank. I think this is the only fuel tank that's going to fit in there. Even add the exhaust system to it, so we've got a nice exhaust system. And this one kind of sticks in right through the bumper, but all the others looked absolutely ridiculous. I didn't want to stick it out the side either, so that's just the way I am with this. I just didn't want to do it that way. So put the fuel tank in. Now, if the fuel tank was a little bit smaller, if that 250 tank was a little bit smaller, say we had a, a 100 and it would fit in there, by golly, I'd put that sucker in there. That's for sure. Uh, down. Uh, next up, it's going to be uh, fuel, fuel line. Fuel line. We need the fuel line. See if I can find it underneath here. Maybe it's under engine, yeah. Under engine, I believe. Yep, right there. Fuel line. Crank that up. There we go. Should have kept a wrench on me. Okay. Press 
crouch down in here. There we go. All these are tight. That was not tight. What the heck? How come my heads were not tight? That's interesting. How did I miss that? Let's check this side. Um, something is amiss because good thing I checked that stuff. Okay. Everything else seems to be intact. I could not believe that. You know, I think I just bolted them. You know, I think I just bolted them. I know what I did. I was an idiot. I just bolted them from the inside. I didn't bolt the ones on the outside. Ah, ridiculous. All right. I'm going to have to pay closer attention. Otherwise, I'm going to be spending a lot of money on, on engine parts. All right. Let's grab. I think we're going to need... Uh, one, two coolant, three, three oil, one break. Let's go ahead and grab all this stuff up. Anything behind the counter? Uh, nope. All right. Uh, we're going to need fuel too. See, this is where the fuel tank is, is right there. So that yeah, kind of bites, but that's all right. All right. First things first. Uh, it doesn't really matter, does it? That off. Uh, it doesn't really work well. There we go. I want to make sure I get as much of this as I can inside the radiator. Jeez, I just like spill half of it half the time. Oh my God. This is expensive stuff to be dumping out on my floor. Uh, so, yep. So we should be finished up with the Firebird. I will move it out of here. I am planning on setting up all the cars that I just recently built, probably setting them up down the street a little ways away from the garage. My, my frames... Are a little shoddy right now because of all the stuff I have in the garage and I have not even attempted to go look through all the parts that I have over there. Um, you know what I noticed? If you notice, if it's empty, it's got a black cap on it. Right? If it's got some in it, it's got a pink cap. How about that? Things you notice sometimes. Same with the oil. The oil has a different color cap if it's empty. So you know if it's empty or full, you can just throw them away. More times than not, I'll just throw it away just because I know there's probably not enough in it to fill anything. So I just get rid of it altogether. I don't really care. Two of these should do it. Oh, and it looks like we are full to the top there. Oh my gosh, look at this. That's different. Okay. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, that's funny. That's funny. Oops. <laughs> okay. Let's take this off. Yeah, see how it has a green green, I like a greenish cap to it. Show you what it looks like. Okay, so we've got the cap on it and I'm a little full. <laughs> Oops, that's all good. Uh, I wonder if that's gonna stick through the roof though. Find out, or stick through the hood. I hope not. If it does, I'm gonna have to like break a line or something. See, now it's black. See, if you look at these, these are like got a yellowish green to it. Okay, let me see if this. Nope, doesn't stick. To, I'm good. 
All right. Baby, then we'll fire it up. I got to put some gas in it, too. I always forget to put gas in it. Just one of those things. Holy crap. Okay. Um, that's done. Uh, one more. And... All right. We had some exciting stuff happening in the game. We have, uh, oh, we've got some new stuff I got to show you too. So I've got a lot of stuff here. Um, let's see what the, uh, where are you? There we are. You got enough oil in you? I think so. Hope so. Uh, Whatever, put that on. Thanks. All right. Let me get rid of these. Yeah, this looks like I have a lot in it, but it looks like I have some in it, but it's not a lot. It really isn't. Not a big deal. So that's this is all going. This is all going in the garbage. All right. Uh, one more item is the. Rake fluid. And I'll tell you what, I really, 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 there's been more times than not that I forgot to add or to tighten up the, the nut underneath. Oh, and that one's done. So, just to be on the safe side, let's make sure I got that right. Let's go in here. Got that nut? Yeah, got it. Okay. Whew. All right. I've lost, I've lost a car because of that before. It was a customer's car, actually. <laughs> uh, in between episodes, I do play around and... Uh, and uh, fix cars, you know, I still do the job sometimes. And uh, I had one to fix the brakes and I, you know, I replaced like the brake line. I went out like all out on it, right? Replaced the brake line, replaced the master cylinder on it, uh, replaced the pads, replaced the rotors. I did all that stuff, right? And uh, I took it out on the road and forgot to tighten that nut. And I was going real fast on the bridge, uh, you know, that bridge that's back over that way. And crashed the car. <laughs> I just got rid of it. I was like, oh, whatever. Oh, there's the mirror. Um, this mirror was actually, I thought I needed it for the interior of the bird. And I did not. Um, I don't know if there's anything in this. So we'll find out here in a minute. I don't think there is anything in it. Nope, nothing in it. Okay, so let's take it across the street. Give myself some fuel. Pay for it already? Come on. Okay. I can't get the clothes, but that's okay. I'll carry it across the street. Already got the cap off, so that's good. Alrighty. Come on, baby. There we go. Okay. Now we've got that done. Yep. These cans, I never thought I never thought I'd be using these cans, but man, they've come in. They've come in awful handy. And I bought a second one just for the fun of it because I took the cars out to the drag strip. Alright, so 
a uh, couple things. One, if you guys can think of a better gas tank to put on here, please let me know. Um, but so far, it doesn't look too bad. Now, let me push this out a little bit. All right. Let me see if this bad boy will fire up. That's going to be the question. Does it fire? Um, am I sitting in the seat? Hmm. Am I sitting in the seat right? Oh, I'm staying on top of it. Okay, that looks a little bit better. Doesn't seem like I want to. There we go. That's kind of weird. All right, that's fine. Uh, where is my... Okay, she's in neutral. One thing I don't know where it is, is the... Did I put... I did put brakes in there. Can't see. Okay. Real quick. Did I put an emergency brake in this sucker? Uh, brake lines, brake lines. It looks like that's that's it, right? It looks like that's it. Just double check in before I take her out on the road. If I can. Hmm. Alright. Don't know if it's even set. Oh, you know what? <laughs> I know what the deal is now. I am such an idiot. All right, check this out. I don't have pedals. I can start it, but I couldn't do anything else with it. Um, so let's go to accessories. I knew I was missing something. I just wasn't quite sure what. Uh, I guess it would be under interior. Yeah, pedals. All right. Jeez. All right. There we go. Grab my wrench. That's in there. Is that, do I have a pedal? That looks like the pedal right there. Yeah, that's the pedal. Okay. So it does work. I just have to see it. And it's kind of hard to see from underneath there. That's all right. All right. Now let's try this. Let's try this one more time. Okay, hang on. I am not centered up. I need to kind of be kind of goofy with this. That's good. Close enough. Yeah, sounds like we're good. Sounds like we're good. All right. Let's see if I can pull this thing out. Okay, I was in first. Not doing anything. Uh, did I put a drive shaft in this thing? <laughs> oh, Jesus. Don't tell me. Um, Houston, we have a problem. <laughs> Gee, I need Christmas. Oh, let me get out of this car. Oh, my God. Okay. Get unstuck here. Okay, Doofus Central right here. Okay, let's get in it. Ah, my goodness. Okay, let's get out of it. My goodness. All right, load you up. Let's 
push you back into place. I have to be careful with you, though. You know, I'm not quite done with this thing yet. Are you? Yeah, you're pretty much on there. Over a little bit. Come on. You can scoot over. Scoot over. There we go. Ah, I can't believe I'm doing this. Okay, so a couple things. Um, another thing I'm going to do is put a decal on it. It's not a bird without a bird, right? All right, so let's see. this off. I'm taking it off because I have a better angle at the hood putting a putting a decal on it than I do anything else. So I'm going to put that there for right now. Uh, wow, I can't believe I know what happened. I, I got distracted last night. I was I was building this thing last night. I got distracted. I just totally got distracted. Yeah, I'm not totally centered on this lift. Hopefully this will be okay. Extend the arms out a little bit farther. Should do it. Uh, man, I can't. Well, she sounds okay. She ran. So it means I got everything pretty much the way it should be. So let's go with uh, under drive shaft, under suspension, maybe. Ah, drive shaft. I feel like such a doofus. Yeah, oh, there you go. All right, let's. Be there. Why can't I go anywhere? Is that up all the way? There we go. Now I can get some headroom. Okay, so. Everything is tight up there. I think there's one up there too, but I can't, can't tell if there is or not. All right, so much for that. That was a that was a total doofus move right there. Total doofus move. Okay, so we've got to do a couple of things. We have to put some decals on it. Uh, right now, go grab the decals. I want a couple of them on the sides. So. Uh, I need them right here. So let's uh, change these up a little bit. There it is. This is the one I want. Rotate it. Get it smaller anyway. I'm not exactly sure where it's supposed to be. I think it's supposed to be like right there on the crease. I should have looked. Um, first of all, though, let's go... Change my options to 2048. Okay. And this will, this should look a little bit better. Uh, I don't know if it goes up here or up here. I think it goes right there. Look at that there. Right there. Then, for the or the hood. This thing needs to be bigger. It has to and almost engulf this engine. Uh, let's see here. Let's see where it is on the. Gotta make sure it looks good. It's even anyway. It doesn't quite look even. I'm gonna put that there for right now. Let me take a look at it. Um Yeah, actually that looks pretty good actually. Alright, so we're gonna put that back on her. Okay, 
Why are you not wanting to go on now? Here we go. Uh, wrench, wrench, wrench. What did I do with my wrench? Put it up here. I have a tendency to put up my tools. I'm done with them. To me, it's just getting getting them out of the way. There we go. What do you think? Nice, huh? Okay. Let me uh, get my wrench up. Ah. <sighs> Put the decals up and we'll take this out for a photo shoot. How's that? And then we'll, we'll go down. Uh, we'll take a, uh, a quick tour down to, we'll take a taxi down to the, the junkyard. Watch this out. There we go. All right. Now this is kind of a funky way of getting in here. There we go. Oh, have the brake set. Hang on. There we go. Something is amiss. Not driving right. Interesting. I just noticed my charger's gone. Ah. Um. Hang on. What's going on? Seems like something is wrong with my bird here. Don't quite know what it is. Uh, my emergency brake offer on. Don't know. It's off. So that couldn't be it. Kind of goofy the way this thing's working. So I don't know. Not quite sure what's going on. Want to go sideways, that's for sure. I didn't want to go that way. I'm going to tear it up before I get it down here for a photo shoot. What is that green thing down there? What the heck is that? Oh, it's grass, I guess. So the Firebird is complete. What do you think, guys? <laughs> All right. So luckily, let me get the wheels turned just a little bit differently. Uh, oh. Yeah, not too bad. Not too bad. Got ourselves a nice bird. There we go. Snapshot. All right. Um, so right now I'm going to take this bad boy back. And put it behind the barn with the rest of them. And I'll show you where that's at. Right next to the Chevelle. <laughs> Yeah, it kind of drives it a little funky. 
at first. So I don't know what the deal is with that, but that's okay. It's going to be one of my show pieces more than anything else. It's not going to be a daily driver. Like, my Camino's the daily. You know what I mean? Camino's the daily. Well, it's a good thing I didn't do anything with that charger. With all the crap going on. <sighs> really? I may have to take this down to the. That's what I may end up doing is taking this down to the crap yard and leaving it down there. One less thing I have here. All right. Yeah, there we go. That should do it. Right there. Ladies and gentlemen, my car collection. I'm going to push this backwards. Because the wheels are turned. I didn't want to do that, did it? I'm going to push it back just a little ways. And I can't. Okay, close enough. Let me in there and set the stilly brake. Otherwise, I want to find this thing down the hill later. I just know it. There we go. All right. So what do you think, guys? Ah, got myself quite the collection back here. All right. So now I was telling you, we needed it. Yeah, the charger's gone. The updates, I don't think it's, it's the charger is, I don't know what the hell happened to the charger. Okay. I'm going to have to figure, I guess I'll have to buy a new charger. All right, we're going to jump into Camino. Why did I buy the gas? I don't know if I do or not. Quite honest. I got half a tank. We're good. Okay, so we are going to take this down. I'm going to hook this up, and we're going to take this down to the junkyard. You... You know, I, I know a lot of people don't like the trailer thing, but, you know, hey, why, why not, right? Why not? All right. I am going to head down. Head down to the junkyard, and I will meet you guys down there. All right? See you in a few. All right, we made it down here without any issue. Trailer acted okay. At least I think it's still back there. Yeah, that's it. Hers just drive off the edge of the cliff. We don't. We don't care. So yeah, I have been doing some work down here, and I'll show you what I mean in a few minutes as we get down here. Aha. Uh -huh. There we go. Now, I'm not quite sure where I'm going to put the trailer, but uh, I'll figure it out. Okay. <sighs> All right, so the tra trailer got flat tires now. So look at that abomination. <laughs> okay, let's grab you off of here. Maybe if I can. Can I still pop you up here? 
Yep, not without flipping you over. It's not gonna flip back, is it? You son of a gun. Gotta be stronger than the... There we go. Aha. Gotta be a little bit wiser. Alright, so for this thing, I'm just for the trailer that is. I'm just gonna leave it here. Right? I'm gonna leave it out of the way. Put it in here. Put it by here. There we go. There we go. So oh, do I have a flat tire? Doesn't look like it. It's anyway. Look at this abomination. <laughs> um, I got it. I think I've got it all together. I've got everything except for the radiator support. I have. I thought there was going to be a Fury radiator support. I don't think there is. So I haven't tried a. Um, have not tried using uh, anything else. Um, so it's probably a Bart radiator support that I need. So and. All the parts that I had here, now I haven't done anything with the fiber parts, but look what I've done back here with all the Fury parts. Now, this is what I've done. This is how bored I was, right? I, like, selected all the parts. I put them, you know, these are left panels. Those over there are right. You get the front end. Get the front end and grill. Um, fenders here. Fenders over there. You know, left here, right over there. Uh, hoods, cowls, uh, windows, left and right. I've got one right over there. Uh, hoods, uh, rocker panels, doors. You know, I've got like more left doors than I do right doors. I got one right door, uh, one trunk. So yeah, I've been very, very busy. Clusters. Uh, this is white interior. This is uh, tan interior. Red, black, blue, and this baby poop brown back here. Um, yeah, and then I've got headliners, uh, rear windows. This is the chrome for the trunk. Now that I have a trunk, I can actually put it on the trunk, right? Yeah. Um, that's what I did with the, the grill up there. And I could have, like, put some stuff on the doors, but I don't leave them like that as right now. Um, so, yeah. So, all the trim I had for the front fenders goes on there. So, yeah, I've got pretty much everything set up back here. So, if I need to, if I want to build another one, I can if I have the parts to. Oops. All right. Um, kind of got cut off because the junkyard kind of loaded in on me. So over here on this side, because we got the 57 in the, in the shop now, is the same thing. I've got the 57 front you know, pieces. Uh, got that. Oh, it's, it's just starting to rain. Sounds like it. Oh, yep, it's starting to rain. Uh, so fenders, you know, all this stuff. So yeah, I've kind of pretty much gotten myself a little bit more organized on both sides of the junkyard. Uh, hopefully, uh, hopefully that'll be all right. Let me take a look inside the junkyard, see if there's anything interesting that I cannot live without. Um, what is this? Firebird spoiler. Don't need that. That's a 57. Uh, another Firebird balance. Uh, these are cool. These are new. We had louvers for the, the lad now. So those are cool, but I don't, I'm not a big louver fan, so I'm not going to take them. Doors, motorcycles. I have yet to build a motorcycle on this channel or on this series. There's a Bart, dark green Bart. Don't really need that. What are you? So that's a wolf seat. Uh, Firebird, Chevelle. Not seeing anything in here. I can't live without these wheels. I cannot wait. I think the next my next build might be might be that convertible wolf I have on the side of the shop. Yep, no chargers in here whatsoever. The chargers are gone. Um, an interesting blue. Convertible. Uh, 872,000. 
kilometers. Holy cow. Where is that? Deep purple. See, if it has the purple, if it's a... Uh, I'm also looking for a black car, too. See if... That sucker will go up in an auction if I find one of those. Uh... Is that a right? Or... Yeah, that's a right. We're gonna grab that. The Fury. Keep those pieces just in case. Ready for the part. Oh, what car are you? Nope, not black. Another set of louvers. The car ramp. Now, this, you know, I really probably should build one of these F-350s so I could tote cars around with. But that's all right. Um, that, that, nope, not, nothing I can't really live without, so. Work hard, and one day you'll be like me. Oh, cool. Yeah, I need to be like you. All right, so I've got one right glass. We'll take it around back here. Yeah, I only had one back here, so that's cool. All right, now that we have that, I am going to head back to the shop, and I'll meet you guys when I get there. That, that, that tire looks low. All right, let me get back to the shop. I'll see you when I get there. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are back at the shop. Uh, things are looking pretty good. Uh, I'm not doing anything with this 57 right now. Just these things adjusted. Ah, there we go. Um, i got to give the Camino a wash, and I will talk to you guys later. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to do the next time around. Um, I'm going to figure it out. Well, next time around, we'll try, try to get this lad, this 1201 lad, try to get this thing back together. Get it restored so we can get rid of it. All right. Until then, this is Hershey's Air. Saying goodnight, everyone. Thanks for watching. I'm out.